Kev, let's talk about that Stay Trashy Ooh-wee. Tour, baby. We Coming in full effect. Yeah. First leg of the tour has been announced. We went all over the country, gang. It's a good, good time. Come out and see us. Yeah, gang. Starting in March, we're going to be in Baltimore, Virginia Beach, Richmond, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Houston, Woo! Austin. Look out. Then in April, baby, we're hitting New Haven, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont. Then in May, we got Tampa, Dania Beach, Florida. Raleigh, North Carolina. Then in June, we're doing Cleveland and Columbus. Get those tickies. Let's party, gang. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. Uh, this is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're going to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Go birds. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She is on a bus somewhere. Okay. Coming back from Disney World. Whoa. That no fly list is... Uh, <laughs> I jammed her up. Can't say bomb in an airplane. <laughs> can't use your vibrator in there either, apparently. Apparently, she's all hemmed up. My co-host is coming that at thing you. thing was a lightsaber. <laughs> Talk about the dark side, huh? All right, that's enough of that. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage, an international businessman, if you will. Mm-hmm. He was doing some deals over there in Norway and France. Epcot. <laughs> Epcot didn't see what was, didn't know what hit him. Negotiating a couple of extra shots in the flugelflugers. <laughs> Anyway, give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on yeah. iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shredder Ref! Cooking! Cooking. And then, obviously, the greatest gosh darn website of all time. Sure. www.patreon.com. slash are you garbage. You sign up over there. You get weekly episode, bonus episodes, AYG. You get you can get weekly episodes of Hard Feelings. Got which, the Disney vid. Got the Disney vids are dry. We just got back yesterday, Woo. last night. Disney vids are dropping. We got a whole slew of bonus. I think a bajillion hours we just reached over a, a bajillion hours of content. Mm-hmm. Don't fact check that. But there's a lot of episodes, a lot of good vids on there. Check it out, gang. Yeah. Become a homie. It's a good time, man. Homies are having fun over there. We're having fun with them. It's a good, good, good time. We love it. Yep. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man <laughs> makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos, crosses them T's and dots them I's. Mm-hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, dudes? What up, T-Ben? Hey, pal. I think I'm in my final form in Florida. When I go full oh. Florida, I really let it go. Buddy, Florida is a good time, my kind of peeps. I'm talking short slip flops and a hoodie type stuff. Oh, yeah. You were full blown. You were full blown uh, surfer who just got done. Just going to find a bag real quick. You were trying <laughs> to jump the gate at our, oh, at, at, my at, God. A, at our rental community we were staying in. Yes. Just to be a dirt ball. Yeah, I know. I literally had to be like, Toby, do not jump the dude. It's all it's pitch that black. gate shouldn't have been locked. There's no street lights. That's all you wanted to do is hop the gate. No, hop I the had fence. no. I had no. Yeah, you did. No. Then no, explain no. the M80s I found in your pocket. <laughs> Those were cherry bombs, first of all. <laughs> yeah, get it straight, narc. <laughs> Those were fucking Ooh. flab crappers. You were there selling, uh, selling fake Disney passes. <laughs> hey, man, that gate should have been unlocked, and I would have been right over that fence. I would have. It would have been no. I would just, whoosh, sure. Right over- but that's how I realized that is like the dirtbag skateboarder in you because I was just like, he's going to jump it. I can, I can, I vied up a fence in my day. I knew that's what you were doing. You were looked up, look left, look right, and then like the, the, the hoisting up of the pants. I was like, this, <laughs> I go, told me don't fucking do that. You're like, well, I'll be out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Can't get the kicked The hoisting out for up this. of the pants and then throwing your plastic bag from 7 Eleven over <laughs> <Yeah>. the <thing. laughs> Throwing the goods over first. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side, pal. <laughs> He's scumbag. We had a good time down there in Florida. I'll tell you that. It was right a now. good time, man. A Shout lot out of, to Disney. A lot of drinks, a lot of Bernies. That's my kind of AK. That is a couple of coasters and, and a big man on a couple of coasters. Any, uh, yeah, fit everyone too. Uh huh. Barely. Be- yeah, I mean it was cool. You got in. I'm happy you got in. Space Mountain. My, well, my concern was my knees were sticking out so much. Oh, man, you were catching, <laughs> you were catching looks as we were as we were driving by the line before we departed in the. <laughs> Space. There was a couple engineers there with the clipboard being like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, let's see. Increase, come, increase come. the propulsion 25%. You come back headless. <laughs> yeah. It was a great fucking time. 
Shout out to Florida. I love Florida. Florida catches a bad rap. Florida's a good time. Mm-hmm. A lot, I mean, we tried, but we couldn't get reservations to drive a tank and blow up a car. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what, that's the kind of vibes Florida comes with all day. That's open all day. That's a business that operates seven days a week. We couldn't get in because they had corporate events. Corporate event. I assume it. I assume it was. Uh, Instead, we had to wait in a twenty-five minute line at Miller's to get a table. <laughs> yeah. What was it called? Miller's Hell House. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the Smoking Bones down there. Uh, that place was all right. It's whatever. just like shitty casual Smoky restaurants bones. that I'm all right with. Yeah. Sign me up. Give me some. <laughs> you could order to your table a bucket of beers, which is. Good time by me. The kid at Smoky Bones asked us, like, you want that in a pint or you want the big one? I was like, let's do the big one. Yeah, always go big. Who awesome. knows what that was? <laughs> it was 48 ounces. <laughs> Came with duct tape to tape them to my hands. You want the three, you want the three liter of IPA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bring, him, bring, bring him over straight yeah. out. No, I like that. I like a place where you can order. You ask, you ask for a beer and they ask you, what size do you want? <laughs> That's all right. That don't happen everywhere. That's a that's a that's a real nice thing. You want the big boy? Yeah, I want the big boy. You ever get the mug? There's a mug, not a pint, but a mug. Sure. Mugs, they're smaller. They yeah. They can kind of kick rocks. Well, because you only get a cold one the first round. Then they're backtracking. They're coming out of the dishwasher. Yeah, it's you tough. get a hot one. Uh, I I concur with that. They do the mugs at McSorley's Ale House down mm-hmm. there on the lower or uh, in the East Village. Like the oldest Irish pub or whatever. Sure, sure. They only have two kinds of beers, light and a dark, and you order one and they give you two. That's my kind of math. It's my kind of beer math. Yo, I'll take well, I'll take one dark and they hand you two little mugs because like they're mostly foam and they're little. So it's like hey, 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 you know. It, yeah. makes, it gives you like a real sailor vibe. I like it. Yeah, I'm pints and up. Pints and up, yeah. Give me sixteen or nothing. Yeah, except That's- for those little beers we got in Japan at uh in Epcot were pretty banging. Yeah, that was a. Uh, I think that was a language barrier with me. I didn't. I, I tried to order. I tried to order in the native tongue, and I got you a little. Did? I don't know. I was fucked up by that point. If I'm being honest with you, speaking Spanish. Uh, hola, cómo estás? Me llamo Cerveza. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was great, man. I love Florida. Florida's a great escape in the winter time from the Northeast. You go down there, you get some fun in the sun. It's Trailer Park, California, man. Oh, it's great, dude. Smoking cigs in the pool. We didn't get kicked out of the Airbnb. We didn't get kicked out, but have you heard anything? Any rumblings? I did. We, ladies and gentlemen, we smoked about four million heaters. Oh, uh, let me pull up. There. I did get a message that I didn't. Ha- I have. I didn't have the courage to open Ooh. from the from the. Ho- I don't. It could be good or bad. We're gonna find out right now. Actually, I don't have because they're I missing have, a fitted sheet. I don't have it <laughs> because I have such P- PTSD from the previous Airbnb. Yeah, I don't like opening the messages the day after. Sure. Of like, hey, we found your condoms and your, you know, your whatever. Yeah. Um, I was peeing in that shower, boy. Woo! How many times you pee in a pool? How many? Do, what? <laughs> how, do, we, how many? Because we didn't really talk about it, but obviously. How many times did I pee in the hot tub that the four of us were in at one point? Dude. None. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't, didn't pee while having a conversation with Toby. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I thought the Bud Lights were kicking in. <laughs> yeah, dude, I had 19 beers. I didn't get up to go to the bathroom. What were you thinking? Uh, that I wasn't sitting in a tub full of piss. Yeah, you were. Uh, hey, it's Wel- all... Welcome to Florida. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they told you that at the airport, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any pool has pee in it. I was peeing most of the time that I was down there. <laughs> Yeah, I did pee a lot. A uh, lot. It says, hey, we are happy to have hosted you during this time. I hope you have enjoyed your the home we prepared for you and that the Orlando everything the Orlando area has to offer. Mm-hmm. We would love to have you and your family and friends back with us real soon. Really? We gave you a five-star review on Airbnb Whoa! and hope you can place the review for us as Look well. Look at that. Come on, baby. You can't hold a good crew down. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to Airbnbs that don't have cameras. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. My kind of spot. Yeah. <laughs> so look the other way. Pa. They were also like, hey, no smoking. And this is my derp. I go, it says no, it just says no smoking. And I go, my my legal, my very little legal understanding is I go, well, that's in the house, right? Sure. It doesn't say no smoking on the property. There wasn't one. No, there was no, no smoking sign in the backyard. Yeah, yep, and that's what I'm going by. Yeah, it was yeah. mostly swamp, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I had ripped it off when we, when we got, when we got there. Yeah. Gators got to it. 
Yeah, that was an all right trip. Shout out to the fucking homies, everybody that signed up. That was our uh, uh, Patreon goal fulfillment. The next one we got yep. cooking, which is creeping up very, very soon, yeah. is that they're in the 500. Oh, yeah. Kippy's going to be in a car. <laughs> now, yeah. d- I heard about that. You said that Shaq was brought up. He's DJing something. I at think Indy. Shaq's DJing. He's something got something going on down there at the Super Bowl, too. Yeah, that guy gets a big around. party. Not bad. Yeah. Shout out to fucking Shaq Daddy Diesel. What do you think he plays? I think he plays the violin. What do you mean? What do you think he plays? <laughs> you should get a pair of Shaq shoes and try to get him to autograph them. Yeah. Yeah. That's no. all right. I'm just gonna if I see him, I'm just gonna post up and go, give me the rock. Just fuck it. <laughs> just try to back him down wherever he is. Shack him open. <laughs> Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> you know what I wanted to ask you? Oh God, what's that? Um I had a slight not I had a communication issue with uh with a um Uber driver earlier today. Um it was all jammed up on my place. Okay. And I was like, listen, we're we're gonna walk over uh, to to another street, come around and bust a Yui. And he's like, "What? Bust a Yui? I'm like, but bust a Yui? Yeah. Is that Yui? Is that not a universal thing? I don't know. For you, you know that bust a Yui? Yeah, flip a bitch, bust a Yui. Flip, flip a, a, bitch. a bitch. Jesus Christ. Uh, never speak to someone like that. <laughs> this is a goddamn family program. Jesus Christ. I apologize. For um, flip now a get back bitch. to me peeing in a hot dog. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you, Wayne Brady? While making eye contact with Toby. Bust a Yui. I let it out slow if that means anything. It I was being polite, right? Buddy. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't full blast. I it, didn't have my phasers on. In the underwater war, <laughs> my, 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 my uh, DNA reigns supreme. Uh, yeah, no, I was I was letting it out slow. I go, oh, yeah, a little bit, and then clench. And go, oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit more clench. I wanted to be a gentleman about it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't look a man in the eye and go full bore. But I'll say this. <laughs> if you ever saw me while you guys were in, in the, in the hot tub. I'm pretty sure you peed sitting down at the table one day, too. <laughs> Just let it go. My bathing suit was still wet. <laughs> yeah, you had- <laughs> Counts. <laughs> Just running down. If you ever saw me down at the deep end, just chilling there, man. Yeah, I was letting it all. You weren't doing laps. You were in the porta potty. (laughs) Taking a dump. You didn't pee in the pool, Toby. I did not pee in the hot tub. You're lying. It's the same water. They're cycling it through. I got into the pool like a gentleman. Okay, this guy. (laughs) You missed out. Peeing in a pool's all right. Everybody knows that. That's all hot water anyway. Yeah. Boils right off. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't think it was that hot. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't 212, all right? <laughs> it's boiling. Uh, <laughs> anyway, bust a Yui. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, maybe not. I mean, was he, uh, you a know. a Philly thing? Was he from, uh, it could be an American thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. He was, he could have uh, he could have been from a different country and maybe not known the lingo. I don't Yui. think it was Connecticut. Let's put it that sure. way. Sure, he might have not. He might have just not known Busta. You a U turn, but a U U turn. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got in the car. I was like, "What are you talking about?" And yeah. I'm, he was like, "Yui, where's Yui Street?" And I'm like, "Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> where the hell's Yui Street?" <laughs> I was like, bust a U-turn, dude. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's probably just a language barrier, I have to assume. Uh, but all that being said, we got a goddamn uh, family episode on our hands here. Yeah, we do. Guys, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. You got a lot of submissions, but the uh, the homies get the first crack at it. We got a little bit of a backlog that we're working through, but we're getting everybody. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. All right, this one's from Lil Stank. Shout out to Toby's cat, I believe, there right? There you go. Damn, I know the homie had internet access. Yeah, <laughs> and apparently credit card information. <laughs> uh, this is a home run. Ever use bungee cords for something indoors? <laughs> it's called uh, keeping the refrigerator door uh, closed. Oh, that's tough. Bungee, that I, I never thought about that until this question. They are an outdoor slash automotive sure. u- utility tool or whatever. When the, that ain't indoors. When the bungee cord rolled on the scene, sometime in the when when it came on our the Foley family radar was sometime in the mid eighties. Yeah. And my dad thought he was a mechanical engineer. Oh yeah. Wrapping it around, double looping. Putting it. them together. Oh yeah. Dude, those things. I saw him get whiplash with those things so yeah, many times. I had one snap. God damn it! I had one snap off and hit me in the head so fucking hard when I was working construction. Oh my god, dude! Because we never had enough 
to, to strap down the stuff on the truck. That no. was our way. It was our famous last words. Ah, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you shake it once or twice. That ain't going nowhere. So you're doing 60 oh, on the turnpike. One of them fucking snapped. We had the shittiest. For a construction company, we had the worst bungees Dude. on record. We had we the had one. the same four most of my life. I remember thinking money. We had the we had the black ones, the black rubber ones. Now ours had the, the little th- speckles. in That them. was rich guy stuff. With really? The thread that were covered with the thread. Yeah. Yeah, that was rich guy shit to me. Really? Yeah, we had the we had like the black utility ones that had no give in them. <laughs> that was pretty much like a rope with two hooks. Oh, on I it. know what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. The, whoa, well, that's what we banged with, dude. If you pulled those things really hard, they'd rip a leg off. Oh man, those things did the, not. The black rubber ones. Yeah. Oh, those. And you things got your were... foot up on the one side of the pickup truck. Yeah! Trying to get it over the bar. Those things strapped down some PVC pipe. Deadly. Oh, yeah, we used to use those up. landscaping to hold the gate up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't s- scratch the shit out. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of play in them. Uh, and then when they did, they would hit a nice sweet spot when they would get stretched out enough. But then they just turned into like rope again. Like they get loose. All the stretch was gone out yeah. of them. You really had to bring it over a couple of links. We, uh, yeah. Everybody has a, in their set of bungee cords has one that's only stretchy on one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get like a real fucking, real good pull on her. Yikes. We uh, also, too, we had one for a while when my mom was whipping that Sebring convertible. I would have to put my bike in the back. Like I was going to like my buddy's house or whatever, going down the shore or something. If, if we had to move the bike when I was too young for to like really ride somewhere. They would do that. I'm surprised they would take... I don't know what it would have took for my dad to take our bikes down the shore. Maybe rent one down there one day, but we weren't allowed to bring our bikes. Now we were going down for a while. Like, we were going down for, like, you know, it wasn't, we weren't going down for the weekend or the week. Like, mm. I'd go stay with my aunt who was, you know, bartending down there. My mom would go to work. So I'd be down for, like, maybe two weeks or whatever. And my mom would jealous come of those go. kids bringing their yeah. own bike oh. down the shore. Yeah, you felt real cool. Mm-hmm. See some dork on a beach cruiser that said, like, Gary's bikes on it. Meanwhile, I'm fucking, I'm bunny hopping on my, on my Schwinn, dude. Fuck out of here. Can't tell me nothing on the Wildwood Boardwalk. Dude, those beach cruisers to a fat little kid might as they well have been, might as well have tried to drive the space shuttle. And now I have appreciation for things. them. I have a grand appreciation I for the beach em. cruiser. We got, we, I got, I got one now down at the, you know, like family. Just it's a used. girl's bike. No. They all have the dip. The dip. They don't have a bar that goes across. They all have the low dip. No, they have the dip. They have the bar that goes across. Nah, not the ones that I see. I'm telling you, they Are do. Are you sure? I own one with it. Let me see a picture of it. I don't I think. I don't have it. It's not my child. Ah, oh, here you go. I don't think they do. I'm I think telling you. All, no, 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 no. Yeah. They for sure do. Yeah. What? Have one, a bar that goes straight across? Yeah. Yeah, here's one right here. This is something similar to what I have. Let just me see. visually. Yeah, right there. That thing's mean. Uh, you got to. Free gift sign there. <laughs> I'll sign up real quick. <laughs> there. I, yeah, all right. I'll give it to you. you. All right. I'll that's, give it to that's you. That's the thing you just said. But that's not your traditional traditional beach cruiser. Sure. They're girls' bikes. But even growing up, we had the, the my, really? my cousins had them like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a proper beach cruiser. Huh. I do know what you mean. The ladies' bike. The that, ladies' that's beach what cruiser. They, yeah, those oh, yeah, with the pom-poms and the fucking go basket. Nah, pom-poms you gotta get in mind. You know what I didn't you mind? You get a man's beach cruiser. You know what I didn't mind? The little streamers that came out of the girls' handlebars. And you're worried about the frame, and you got streamers those going? Those things were pretty sweet. Let yeah. you know you were cruising. You make them match your underwear, too, you little freak. <laughs> <laughs> you little fucking you little creepo. <coughs> uh, but I remember one time, dude, my mom was rocking a pair of white Keds, <coughs> and I knew we were just built different at this point. As a as a as a family unit, we had nothing to tie. We didn't have the bungee to close the trunk, uh-huh. so we needed something to tie. So she took out the shoelace from her kid and tied it around. And I was like, "Damn, you! That is why." Drive better barefoot anyway. <laughs> I was like, "You belong on a space shuttle." That was that was like that scene from fucking Apollo thirteen where we're like, "We got to make this fit into that," and this is what we got. She fucking yeah, rigged it up real good. Shoelace. Yeah, took his shoelace out of her white kid and tied it around. I remember my mom, I broke my shoelace and she tied it together. <sighs> trying to get that one through the hole. That's <sighs> a bad luck. <sighs> That's a real bad luck. Tied you ain't shoelace. Lying. Dude, you, you're bad if your shoes have two knots in them. <laughs> That's a fucking bad luck. You got one down by the toe and one up and the, the regular knot. Skipping a couple holes. Kip, how about that bespoke post, baby? Ooh, 
Oh, you mean Box of Awesome? You like that Box of Awesome? You like looking cool in front of your friends when uh-huh. they show up at your house for a little get-together? Flex on some dorks. All of a sudden, you pull out a tomahawk? Yeah. Hi-ya! Put that right next to his head on the drywall <laughs> when he <laughs> yeah. walks in the front door? Yeah, it's like axe throwing over here. Now I'll make you a nice cocktail <laughs> with more of my products from Box of Awesome. Sure. Gang, we love Box of Awesome here. We love Bespoke Post. You get cool guy stuff for cool guy times. Mm-hmm. It's a good, good time. You get cocktail stuff. You get stuff for the home bar. You get stuff for the outdoors, stuff for the winter. It's fun, fun, fun. Do yourself a favor and pick one up. Yeah, their Terra box looks, well, let me tell you, it looks awesome. Uh, it's got a huge crocodile Dundee type knife made by Bare Bones. And if you know anything about me, what are we doing? I roll with a crocodile Dundee type knife at all times. Let's go. Uh, it's you're going big knife, it's got to be a crocodile Dundee. There's no other, there's no other knife. You know, a Rambo, maybe, but I'm a croc. If you're showing up to a St. Patrick's Day party. <laughs> and you want to make it interesting. And you don't got a crossbow on you. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, you get 90, 90, 90% of everything in your box is from a small up-and-coming brand. You only pay a fraction of what these boxes are worth. Uh, you go to boxofawesome.com, take the little, fill out a little form there. It picks the right box of awesome for Find you. Find out what kind of feller you are, or lady. You get 20% off your first monthly box when you <laughs> sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, this one's for Manscaped. Oh, baby. Best in the biz, that Manscaped. Best in the biz. Keeps the nuts clean. Uh Keeps the nuts smelling good. A lot of good stuff. They just upped it one. Now they're taking on your face. Yeah, so I don't have to use the same one I use on my gonads on my mustache. (laughs) (laughs) Which I've been doing. (laughs) Walking around smelling nuts all day. (laughs) Which I don't mind. Nothing wrong with it. (laughs) I feel the smell smell like a gym locker room all day. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over there to Manscaped. They got the Beard Trimmer Pro Kit out. Uh Uh-huh. Tighten you up. Real, real nice. Yeah, Valentine's man. Day coming up. Take care of the backyard and take care of the front yard. Yeah, the Beard Hedger gives you 20 hair cutting lengths. Hachi, machi, that's a lot. The, the thing I'm banging with on my face sometimes is four. That ain't no good. Get a tight fade. Now. I seen in the commercial. Uh, uh-huh. I think it's connected there. You don't have. To, it's real easy to yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, for sure. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, totally. Uh, it's waterproof. You can shave anywhere. And since Manscaped wants you to have all the tools. For the job, they're throwing in a beard brush, comb, and scissors to make you, make you look like a million bucks. There Daddy-o. you go. And start looking like a million bucks by saving a little bit of cash. So you get 20% off and free shipping with our code GARBAGE at <coughs> manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code GARBAGE at manscaped.com. I'm going to say it one more gosh darn time. Uh, the Manscaped Beer Hedger Pro Kit, the premium solution for face grooming. Do it. There you go. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Uh, we've talked about this one. This is funny, though. This is from Doroli, Foley's director scarf. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, never have one read. Is it garbage to have to Google what time exactly does direct positive hit? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I've been there. I respect it. You got to play the game. And it's tough to peg it down. Sometimes you sure. don't know. It depends on their bank. It depends on your bank. It depends on if it's an A, whatever payment. Man. Yeah. But I've been there, daddy But I don't care. I don't understand why that catches a bad fucking rap. High finance people do that shit. That's all time. Trading, getting in, getting out at the right time. That's high finance for dirtbags. You know that what I mean? That check's going to bounce at 505. Hey, what time does the funding land? I need money. It doesn't matter if it's all the money I have. Sure. It's the I need my money. I never did direct deposit. Until now. Yeah. Never once did I sign up for that at a, at a job. Mm-hmm. I didn't trust that shit as far as I could throw it. I'll be here Friday at noon to pick up my check. Well, they were always, the thing that always sucked was for a while, it would be del- the direct deposit would be a little delayed. And typically, when I was ever starting a new job, I was jammed up. I was, I needed that paycheck when I was, before I started. Dude, you know what the, I mean? Th- th- the, the, the three weeks of training or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know, you start a job, you, you miss the cycle. Sure. You don't get your don't, first You're not pay- getting paid till the 88th of the month. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Let's go. Hip the goddamn cheddar. I bet I might be sleeping here. <laughs> Fucking hemmed up. <laughs> I know. Man, yeah. that shit was bullshit. There is a difference between, like, a guy at, at, at Chase Bank looking at millions of dollars moving around and a guy outside of a 7-Eleven at 2 a.m. like, and he's refreshing his Bank of America app. Dude, I've done that outside of a set like as a proper adult like this podcast might have been happening like when we first started i was posted up outside that 7-eleven 
out front of fucking Fat Black. Waiting for something Waiting to click. Waiting for something to click. Mm-hmm. Get a hot meal in you. Uh-huh. Get some taquitos, maybe a slice of that good pizza they throw out. Bag of yik yak. <laughs> nah, not call, my cup of tea. Call the guy and tell him you got green lights. <laughs> I got a five-minute window from when they stop selling booze and when I get my fucking money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go in there and try to get a couple rounds in you. <laughs> a couple of shots for me and my friends. Hey, we're closing up. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, never trusted that. Never trusted direct deposit. Always got my check. Took it immediately to a check cashing place or the check or, or, or the, the bank, bank that the, was drawn the on. The bank. That, I remember when somebody told me that. It it, it 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 it. I went from a bachelor's degree in dirtbag to a doctorate in scumbag. Yeah. When I found that out, I can't remember where I was hemmed up somewhere. And they were like, "You can just take it to the bank that the check's written on. They have to cash it." But sometimes you get hit up with like Sun Valley Crest Bank out in Idaho, and you're fucking jammed Screw. up. I used to try to do that at when I worked at the supermarket. They were because it was a national corporation. They were out of some tiny rinky dink bank in Seattle or something. I'm over here trying to get my 180 out on a Friday. I'll go get some booze and some Bernies with the boys, and I gotta fucking I gotta catch a red eye to Seattle. <laughs> What's get a bank in Seattle gotta do with me being jammed up in <laughs> Bucks County? I know. Let's go make good with the fucking scratch. Will you? <laughs> I take it over to Commerce. They whack me for eight bucks. I'm fucked here. You're taking four percent of my goddamn check. That's half a pack of heaters. <laughs> that was a pack at eight bucks back then. That was probably close to two packs of heaters. Pack of heaters and Six a couple. These were five bucks back when I was back. A couple of tall boys. Woo-wee. Let's go. go get a 30 rack. Call it a goddamn weekend. Man, what a great question. Can't tell me shit. Uh, this one's from Dr. Fon- Fantana. $10 homie, which is the most popular homie, by the way. $10 homie. Have you ever hitched a trailer or U-Haul to a minivan? That's a bad look. We never had to do that because my family worked in construction, so we always had access to... To a shop truck or a pickup truck or a like a box truck or something. We did me and my brother rented a U-Haul one time to help him move and it sucked. Mm-hmm. That was the only time we ever did a proper U-Haul. But like a U-Haul truck, not a trailer. Not a trailer, like a big box truck. Sure. And yeah. we crashed it when he was pulling into the, the driveway of his new apartment building. Whatever I saw anybody throughout my life, no matter what was pulling it, it could be a fucking naval battleship. If somebody was pulling one of those little U-Haul trailers Mm -hmm. i assume that they were in the worst possible position that anybody sure in ever yeah i I used to when we drive by something like that on the highway i'd be like god damn throwing change out of that guy's for you yeah i get but they just look brutal it don't look great and it's always connected to a car yeah. Always. Which I don't think I have the torque to pull off. <laughs> pull, it up, <laughs> pull it up to you all. Like, I need the skip, skip in town package. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to return this at another location. <laughs> I'm not bringing this back here. You got something you can get. You're Woo! trying to get your, off, get your hands off of? What do you got in the way of a handshake deal? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... uh. <laughs> That's tough, but I get it if you have a car. We're currently doing a hot on your trail package right now. (laughs) (laughs) Need to get away? (laughs) It's need to get away and got to get out. Yeah. (laughs) Boom. Yikes. Yeah, they're tough. Tough look, man. We we did. I think I had mentioned at one point. Hold on. That's the same thing, even though it's different with the there's little Winnebago's. Like little t- camping little Winnebago's sure. and those camping uh, the pop up Johns. Yes, the, the 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 ones you pull on. Man, I used to see those and be like, "Fuck, let's get a hotel, lady." It was cool to me because my neighbor had one, the pop up, and that was my first introduction. A lot to of it. bees in there. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm crying for a wasp nest. Catch you, catch me running out of there, tooth taking my shirt off. Jumping in the pool trying to find water. <laughs> yeah. Those, those get real hot. Might as well be flat. That's just the devil's den, those things. Man, I can ain't, remember how it smelled, too. There ain't nothing like a wasp nest. I'll tell you that. Yeah. This summertime, going to battle with a couple of those. Uh-huh. Two tree cans are raid. Oh, I think man. I told you. Before, 
I brought the Montego back up here. I left it was the Montego. Shout out, rest in peace to the Mercury Montego. It was parked in my mom's driveway for about a two, three years. Uh, not moved, not registered, not nothing. And I came home to get it one time to bring it up here. I was going to take a new shot at life. I was going to be a guy with a car, you know, really fucking, really try to do it, man. And my mom goes, there's a wasp nest in that tail light. You better watch out. <laughs> in the tail light? How did they get in there? There was a little crack, obviously. I had a couple I, I had a couple fender benders. It, it, it created a little a little access road for them. A uh, wasp nest in your tail light. Man. That's and so I go, I'll nice. be fine. Man, these things knew. Must have, they must have heard I was in the neighborhood looking for beef. Dude, after, <laughs> these things came out. They, they didn't even wait for me to approach. After sitting there for a year, they probably had developed into like having universal health care. Oh, uh, like yeah. That. They were all. They're launching missions to space. They were unified. They, they, they played as a team, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're fat ass. Oh, dude, I brought a knife to a wasp fight, and that wasn't work, dude. I fucking high, I hightailed it down to the fucking street, <sighs> away from them. My mom, like, I told you, I told you. I go in, I get two cans of Raid, I come out strapped to the gills. Who want what? Everyone's getting it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man. So what happened? If I remember correctly, I really doused them. Right? I really got them going. You got listen. It sucks. You got to. But at the same time, I didn't. Always two cans. Yeah, but I didn't trust to get in the car because if they're in the car and I, I, I go for a stroll and they're they're lying. In, you know what I mean? They're hiding in a back seat waiting to get me. Hey, wait till you get on the highway. And it's like good fellas. <laughs> I get the piano wire and fucking knife me in the neck. So I waited. I think I came back the following week. To make sure they were dead. And I remember popping the trunk, man. This wasp mouse was like this big. <coughs> posted up right there. Oh, dude, that's funny. Yeah, it's tough. When your car gets bees, that is a bad <laughs> your look. car has bees. Yeah. Ooh. We also had, and the same thing as the U-Haul, we had, uh, we did have the bubble on top of the wood. We had the woody, the wood panel, red. I thought that band. was rich guy shit. Anybody putting anything up on the roof? Well, like we a never roo- used A it. roof rack or something? Skis make sense. A snowboard Who's skiing? maybe. I... Yeah. No, I'm saying if you have a ski rack, I could see how that would be a fancy thing. Sure. This thing, I mean, we use, I remember, I don't think I ever saw it on the car. It was behind the garage and got filled with water and then grew frogs in it. That's the extent of our... Didn't it have like a kangaroo on it? Wasn't that the brand? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. I always thought that was weirdo shit. Yeah, it had. Yeah, we never used. I never remember using it. I just remember it getting frogs, and then we had to get rid of it, and that it, became a thing. It was never on like a normal dad's car. It was always the dad that was a little, a little my hippie. Mom had little it was on hippy my mom's dippy. car. I guess we had it on the minivan. We had it on the woody. We had like that red woody. Not minivan. all the time. No, I mean, from, I've never. I don't think I ever saw it on the car. Hmm. Probably ran out of bungee cords. There's no way my dad was rocking with that on the Jeep. No way. Pulling up to a job site with one of those. (laughs) No. You fucking lose the deal. (laughs) You get the boot. No guy with a bubble's building my house. (laughs) Take that draft dodging (laughs) shit. (laughs) You take that commie shit elsewhere. This is America, goddammit. Fucking hippie. Yeah. (laughs) Get the fuck out. I don't care where you're camping. I always say, every time I saw one of those, I was like, there's definitely an acoustic guitar somewhere in that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, this one's from J.P. Henry. Know anybody that has their keys hooked to their belt loop? Toby. To- is that a, that's a T-bone move. He's a carabiner guy. Occasional, yes. Yeah. That's a bad look, usually. You've moved out of it a little bit. Can I say this? There's- it has real roadie vibes. Y- which he's, you were way more that than you are now. Sure. You're definitely... A little more New Yorkified in your own way. You still keep your own style, all that kind of stuff. Still a big dork. Yeah, but you but you've lost some of that uh some of that shit. The city has taken some of that away from you. Yeah. Let's in a good way. And and now I got a little, a little cash to upgrade my situation. <laughs> to what? Where I mean, where do you put your keys? Yeah. In my backpack. Oh <laughs> this guy's got backpack. This guy's oh, got yeah, transport you. money. Yikes. Not to throw it in anybody's face. <laughs> but I do have a forty nine ninety nine school bag. I do feel like the key situation is a good indication of garbage or not. Or I feel like the worse you're doing, the more keys you have. Yeah, it's probably true. It's probably true. Yeah. 
I mean, key wise now. Y- there was a point where we got my- one to here. We got one to Tooties or two to Tooties. Actually, five. We got a lot of locks <laughs> on this door. And guns. <laughs> and wasps. <laughs> Keep a big wasp this down by the basement door. I know how to, I know how to communicate with them, okay? Um, I got two for my apartment, two for here. I got four keys. Mailbox key, five, five, six. What do I got? You got to go, you gotta go little keys now, right? Do you have any keys on your One, ring two, that you don't know what three, it is? Four, five, six. No, but no. for most of my life, my mother had keys that I think Wait, she Wait, that's kept... a lie. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me say it. I don't know what that is. That I genuinely have no idea what I the can fuck tell you what is. it is. It's a Medco. I used to make them. I used to work at a I used to work at a lock. This is a deadbolt key. This is to a deadbolt. This isn't to a regular door. That's a deadbolt right there. Yeah, maybe it's a deadbolt on my door, but I think the other one does that. Maybe I have two deadbolts. Oh, that might be like the big locker deadbolt. Locker? Like the... Yeah, the deadbolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I have another... Well, not a deadbolt. I have another like big bolt action lock on there. You do? You have three locks on your door? I guess. I only use... Actually, I use all three of them. Nice neighborhood, huh? (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) And wasps. I also have bees. Once you get through the blast door, you'll be all right. Um, Yeah, for a while, my mom, I felt like she kept all the keys from everywhere we've ever lived. Sure. Probably went back and rooted around, (laughs) took some stuff after she left. Go back and get the cable boxes. Right right before Christmas. (laughs) Hey, look. (laughs) Got a half a bag of chips. Um, I have three keys. I had some pot. You have two to here. And you I just have, don't carry them. No. I have one to my door, and I have a fob for the front for the front door. door. Yeah. 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 A lot of that First time now. ever. Yeah. I'm not a fob, man. I'm old like school. It. Steal. You need it? Catch me in the streets. Regulate any keys off this property. We're damn good, too. All right, let's see. Uh, this is from Grop. A long time, Amy. Never had one read. Are you garbage if growing up your mom went to the local Chinese takeout place to pick up white rice for Taco Tuesday at the house? That's fucking crazy. I don't hate it. What? What was the tacos? What are you doing? Rice, Taco Tuesdays. Guess rice and, rice beans, and beans. Maybe rice for the taco. You know. Yeah. That, right. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, also, it's also white rice. It's not like a specialty item. Hmm. You're going to pick up. Uh, we have this. It's like. It's fucking white rice. Get some Uncle Ben's if you're doing that. Even rice aroni. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. That's crazy. I'll say this, you go though. go to a Chinese restaurant for Taco Tuesday. That's just, come on. This but, ain't Epcot. But the, the white rice is the, the, the best you're going to get, top shelf. And you yeah, don't, but also, you, you like, like we even it. said, white rice and tacos doesn't even go together. So yeah, you're going to get a thing that doesn't make sense that you could also make at your house to not make sense. Do tacos have rice in them? Burritos yeah, do. Burritos. I guess I'm sure you could dabble, maybe. Mm, yeah. Or maybe on a side. That's a tough look. But not even white rice. You go to a Mexican restaurant, you don't get white rice. Uh. Uh-uh. No. Rice and beans. Maybe that's 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 white rice, but it's mixed, right? Or I don't even depends. I think it's got a little little a little color, little to it. juice. But to that it. might yeah. come from the the beans. Chipotle does a white rice with the lime. Chipotle does do a white rice. That's not right. Not in the taco though. That goes in the burrito. And we said burrito, sure. White rice in a burrito. All day. Oh, hit me up. But if you're doing burritos at your house, that's crazy. Taco Tuesday. That's all right. Burrito? Burrito at the house? I wouldn't shake a stick at. Never had a burrito until I was an adult. Yeah, no, me either. Like, re- like I was dating my wife, I think, the first time I had a burrito. Yeah. Patty, I was a real picky eater. Patty didn't go for it. No. We would do tacos at the crib. I wouldn't. I'd do nuggies or something. I'd have her make me some nuggies and applesauce. A <laughs> couple of screaming cans of fucking Coke. Let's go. Keep that, other, talk? Keep that other shit away from me. <laughs> Woo. This ain't south of the border, baby. This is PA. Let's go. Do like a nice taco. <clears throat> yeah, that's anything. Anything being prepared like that from outside sources is going to fall under the trash category. That's like semi-homemade shit. You sure. know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but it's like... That's and just- if I was the Chinese spot, I would be suspect about that. Wait, you just want four white rices? I'd be like, what Why the not? fuck They're are you up numbers. to? Who cares? 
You're not getting a fortune cookie with that. As long as your money's green. You come to my place, you're not getting a fortune cookie and the duck sauce and the hot mustard. Just buying fucking... That's like going to an Irish bar and just asking for a thing of mashed potatoes. Get the fuck out. (laughs) Crazy? Uh, um, All right, this one's from Tony Two Hands. Uh, Is it garbage if you bring your own furniture to a hotel? (laughs) Lamp, pillows, (laughs) etc. Why? I mean, dude, if you're pulling, if you're bringing in a recliner to a, that's a tough look. A lamp, if it's a specialty, one of those like uh, sun lamps or whatever. If you have like some sort of deficiency, I'll let it slide. You know what I mean? It's a but, vitamin D, dude. Yeah, if that's the case, sure. This guy's shooting if you're some from, adult videos. Yeah, if you're bringing your own lighting rig <laughs> yeah. or something, or even a pillow, a, a ring specialty, light, ring light, and the rubber sheets. <laughs> A specialty I'll give you if it's something like... How long are you staying? <clears throat> a lamp. I don't know, man. That's tough. Yeah, that's wild. I don't even like taking my pillow anywhere because it gets the travel on it. Then it's like When you pillow... were a kid, it was the greatest thing of all time. In the car, maybe if we were going to like the Poconos or something, you a would lo- bring a pillow listen, for the ride. As a kid, a long ride with your pillow. Of course, that's what I'm saying. Ooh. But that wasn't all the time. No. That was like a, a ride and we're staying somewhere for a while. But the way that fit up against the door. Yeah, you right? mush in real oh, good. Otherwise, you man. catch a bacchiotomy. Your fucking that neck comes out cranked <laughs> like a goddamn french fry, dog. Snap you. Oh, man. Sucks. <clears throat> All right. This one's for Mary. First time, long time. When I was a kid, we went to the local dock with my dad and he asked somebody if he could have some of their lobster nets. He made a soccer goal out of them for us with some PVC pipes. Is this garbage? What the That's fuck? That's tough. Lobster, a lobster net, soccer net. So he That's went. He went down. Got he... a couple buoys hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts, dude. There's Was... seaweed on your on your goal. Looks like the wall of a seafood joint. That's what I picture. <laughs> a couple of bobbers. You know what I mean? A bunch of algae stuck in the one side. Forty bucks. You hit that starfish. That's. Um, so so that's was very resourceful if he didn't have the cash and he's a do it himself guy I, and he he gave you something that's dope so I'll give you that that's so, cool as a dad so he wasn't using it for lobster purposes he went down to where the people the lobsters play soccer he went down to the place where people do lobstering sure and he said do you guys have any nets that you're throwing away I guess it's trash but yeah man you made, you made it do now yeah. if he had a bunch of money and still did that that's real trash. Sure. If he could afford the, but still also resourceful. But you could go buy if you don't want to spend the money on a soccer net. You can buy still buy the PVC and then go buy your own netting. Spend nine bucks on a net or whatever. Yeah, we net. Made, I mean, it ain't that crazy expensive. You got a crab pot basketball hoop. <laughs> <laughs> so peel your season. <laughs> Here they're playing well this year. <laughs> Get that Cajun season in your eyes. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, give you something to cry about, pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Hit you with the corn on the cob. Look out. Coming in. <laughs> Hachi. Um, we made a lacrosse net when we were in high school. Okay. Yeah. With what? Um uh not spare parts. I think we got PVC and then bought the net. Yeah, you somewhere. can buy like a net, you can buy or, net like or like sports net or something, you know, yeah. like a replacement net and do it yourself. Yeah. yeah, my pop wasn't involved in that, though. Yeah, we were big on just building our shit because construction workers don't like buying shit that they think they can do. You know what I mean? It's very like, I can do half of this and then I'll figure that's why everything sucked in our house. You know what I mean? The doghouse was never finished. The fucking basement was never finished. Uncle Den came over, did the basement. <laughs> He probably picked up other side work, hit the fucking road. There's, there's no outlet covers on it still to this day. Left the thing of spackle down there oh, uh, dude, open. Buckets of spackle at the crib from when the basement was attempted to be redone. I mean, there's still trim missing. Sure. Yeah, it's a lot. No, the, a- the drop lighting, the lighting isn't in the drop ceiling. You could do a lot with those spackle buckets once they're empty. Oh, Play man. the drums on them. Oh, big time. Sit on them. Yeah, those buckets, those five-gallon buckets were just a steady at our house. Good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were a good time. <laughs> um, Bunch of Legos in there. <laughs> Sky. Still a little still a little of the smackle in there. There's people that use them for tools in the trade. Sure. 
and my a guy I they, worked with. They make those things they, that go. Which I love, the Home Depot joints. The little covers. Oh, yeah, it's a little organizer you put in there. You can put the big stuff in the big and then it's, I, got, it's I, great. I worked for a real, so he was a good guy, but he was a real psychopath. Um, cleanliness. He was like a master everything. He built his own home, mm-hmm. do the wiring, do the plumbing. He redid kitchens. And I used to have to clean out the van and clean that bucket out. I tell you what, though, man, you get that thing nice and clean. Woo! That was that was always the problem. This guy I worked with, he used the bucket, and he never. It was just dumped in there. So he'd be like, "Hey, hand me the you know the three eighths ratchet head," and you just have to. It's you would try to Digging dig through it, it, but you would just end up having to dump it. And then putting everything back. I'm like, dude, there's got to be a better way than this every single sure. time. Looking for a screwdriver, you're just dumping out 50 pounds of tools on it. Yeah. That. You don't need all that crap either. Just a pair of wire snippers. Wire cutters. I feel like that's all, that's all the guys use was that and the drill. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. He, what do we got? What do you say? This one's. This is from Cody. Has your mother-in-law ever stomped a mouse with her foot like a bug? That's that's a different cut of broad right there. She's stomping on mice. Barefoot. Yikes. I feel it smush. Uh, that's Never. a tough look. But I guess if you see them, your reaction. I, I, I have seen people like shit get them type thing. Like that's just the react. That's the fight or flight in them. How quick is she? What is she, an X-Men? I don't know. The yeah, mice aren't also that quick. They don't have a lot of muscle. You know what I mean? They're not that quick as, I've, as you get older and you realize that. Yeah. They're a little dumb. Well, you, get that... you ever try to talk to one of these things? <laughs> I said, how are you? <laughs> um, they get a little bit of that poison in them, too. They get real oh, I t- I've said wonky. that before. Sitting they in college. come out looking for water. He, came, dude, he was sitting right next to me on the armchair. I was sitting there typing a paper, smoking a heater in the apartment like you do. <laughs> and this thing, I look over. So he was sitting on the fucking armrest of the couch, just fucking all goofy. I'm like, you're gone. Ah! And then he doesn't move. And he, it, it freaks you out even more that he ain't scared. And you realize he's fucking, this guy's on fentanyl right now. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I Could you get that A Street? <laughs> I Watch forget, out. Forget what I did. I didn't step on him. I know that much. Maybe hey, put him in a bag or put something. Put a smoke in his mouth and lit it up for him. <laughs> hey, buddy, any last rights? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want your last meal to be? I could whip you something up. Uh, <laughs> I got white rice and barbecue sauce. Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that before. Yeah, me too, man. That ain't that bad. Wasn't too shabby. <laughs> white rice and ketchup. <laughs> what do you get though? Uh, uh, this one's from Mr. Uranus 2005. Ever fought off a raccoon? No, no. but I just saw a video of one attacking and a little girl. They're rabid. If they attack, they're rabid. That's what that 100% I'm means? I'm like 90% positive. They're little homies otherwise. Yeah, otherwise they'll come up, shake your hand. I don't think so. I do. think they're... If, let, me, uh, let, me get a, let me get some eyes on that. I don't think they're always rabid if they attack. I think if you catch them off guard, if because weren't you saying or weren't we talking about somebody? Yeah, a friend, uh, friend of my family's. That walked by the trash can. Yeah, and it jumped out. Yeah. I don't think that was rabid. I think no, that it, was, it was for sure rabid. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there, I, I, at least... I think it's a, there's probably a number of most attacks are rabid. Uh, they're more likely to attack if they are rabid, but healthy raccoons can also attack you. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, if you catch them off guard, they're in the middle of eating eating dinner. Yeah, no. Uh, rabies but, scared. Rabies, I think, was my number that two hit in the fear 80s or something. Where yeah, it was like foaming out there. The late nineties or early nineties. Because I saw a movie called Cujo at a too young of an age. That's where they had to clip that dog. It right? was no, nah, that was old Yeller. This was a rabbit. Cujo I mean, got it too, though. He survived. <laughs> Damn! Somebody fucking put an APB out on Cujo. Cujo too. Yeah. He's teaching at inner city school, <laughs> <laughs> turning his life around. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I think he. I think I mean, he, you're not going to spoil it. D- all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm Cujo not? dies. I'm assuming. Yeah, at the he end. dies. There's at the no end. way the rabid evil dog lasts. At the uh, survives at the end of the movie. I haven't seen the film, but I can guarantee. Puts out a cigarette it. and just walks away. Ah, uh, yeah. No, but that Head frightened me because that was a nice doggy. It was like a Saint Bernard or something like that. It wasn't like no, a, it was a German Shepherd, wasn't it? No, give that a goog. What kind of dog was Cujo? It was like a. It looked like a nice dog. It looked like Beethoven. A Bernard. Yeah, like Gary Bernard, Saint Bernard, Saint, Saint Bernard. Bernard. So it was a nice puppy doggy, but man. He got that liquor in him. 
<laughs> I got all sauced up. Dude. Turned into a different guy. I got a couple buddies. Like I just that. remember the one scene. He had like the bite on his nose of where he got bit by the thing. It looked like a little ant hill, and he was just ripping that town apart. Yeah, uh, yes, the rabies scared the shit out of me. And also, the rabies treatment scared me. I don't know you what it is. Bathe in tomato juice? No, I'm you gotta get that's a skunk idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a couple of bloodies and call it a day. Yeah, hey, you gotta get a buzz cut. You'll be back <laughs> at school tomorrow. No, it was needles in the stomach that were apparently excruciatingly painful. Yeah, uh, in the eighties, yeah, rabies shots. Yes, that and tetanus. I was I was always lingering. You get tetanus. Put shoes on. You'll get tetanus. I, I was always... Oh, Cujo gets ice with a baseball bat. All right. There we go. Who gets him? The dad? Is this the same writers as The Walking Dead? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They ain't got a fucking 22 to laying around. They can clip this fucking thing. Rifle? Take him to the vet? What the fuck? <laughs> he fucking beat his, bash his brains in. It's already going through enough. The poor dog had <laughs> rabies. Poor, poor dog got bit it. Now all of a sudden he's catching a Louis to that. Jesus head. Christ. A true literary hero named Tad does the deed. Really? Huh. That's a tad too much, if you ask me. Nothing on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, I'm not going to make novel jokes. I'm not going to make literary jokes. It's, uh, you're not oh, going to appreciate poor Cujo. them. Poor Cujo. Poor a fictional dog, and apparently who had a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> <laughs> this guy seems like a real <clears> dick. <throat> Now, hey, I don't know anybody that's ever been beat with a baseball bat that didn't have it coming, all right? <laughs> there Covered was, a vig or not, you know what I mean? There was that, and then there was also one I that... I didn't know it was a mob story. <laughs> <laughs> it was, Pesh, was Pesci in it? <laughs> he rat fuck. <laughs> they even shot Cujo in the face so his mom couldn't give him an open <laughs> casket at the funeral. He cut his fingerprints off. It was real he giddy shit. cut his shit. balls off, shoved them in his asshole. He was stealing kibble, apparently. <laughs> Because uh, that, that came out, and there was another movie around the same time about bees that scared me. The bees it was like Killer Bees or something like that. I was a I was a comedian down in the south. <laughs> killer Bees, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the story is that's why Zany has that balcony. It's because Killer Bees was such a big act that he was kept selling out. So they added a balcony just for him. No kidding. I think they call it the house that bees built. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to Killer Bees. Yeah, there you go. He's great. Um, the one that got me, we watched as a as a school. They had like a movie night in the cafe gym at night. Yeah, you had to come back to school. Yeah, it was like a Friday night. It was like a you know, it wasn't like you didn't have to. No, it was like, hey, we're showing. Uh, we got a big projector. We're gonna show it. We'll have popcorn and like a little fun. How region. old are you? Who young? Because this one shook me to the core. Mary Poppins. Arachnophobia. <laughs> Watching that in a dirty old gym at night with the lights out. Man, you can feel the dust bunnies on your leg thinking it's a goddamn spider. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. See, I look at that as like um, like a Beetlejuice, like a goof. Arachnophobia? Yeah, wasn't that a comedy? No, I think it was a straight movie. No, it was a movie about Jeff Daniels and John Goodman phoning it in. <laughs> <laughs> for, we for call a that paycheck. a paycheck, huh? Yeah, I thought there was like comedic elements to that. It was like a dark comedy. I was, it was seven. More silly. Regard, it's a dark comedy about things that you can kill you in the dark, nonetheless. <laughs> Fuck that. That's what scared you, arachnophobia? As an eight-year-old? Jeez, I saw Platoon when I was seven. Yeah, that's different. I ain't in the fucking shit, all right? I'm, I got spiders in the crib. They'll get you. Nah. Uh-uh. You're nuts. <laughs> Maybe I was dead. Uh, what year did arachnophobia come out? 1990. Really? I was four. <laughs> you guys shouldn't have been watching well, that. That's what I'm saying. I was five. I was in kindergarten. Man, man, my mom. What were you doing, niece? Sending me to that god. Was it? What was it rated? It wasn't rated PG four. I know that much. PG thirteen for sure. One hundred percent PG thirteen. Yeah. Back in the day too, when those things meant something. <laughs> Not now. Yeah, no, that was that one. I mean, I didn't follow the plot. I wasn't picking up on the throwaway line. Back when the movies <laughs> for kids were real spooky. Yeah, I was worried about the goddamn spider. It was about killer spiders. Sure. There was a big one at the end, right? I don't think I made it to the end. I think I peed my pants and had to call my mom. I remember turning my back and fucking, you know, looking for some popcorn. Security came over and yanked you. Yeah. No, I was done, dude. I didn't. I, I never. I'll never watch that movie ever again. Rolled you out of there. Never. That one, that one, like, got me for some reason. Okay. It was also, I wasn't with my mom. I was with, like, my older brother, who's probably, like, you know, getting into hijinks or whatever with his boys. Yeah, he's I was just here. alone watching it by myself. No, Nobody to fucking, 
nobody to soothe the fear, you know? Uh, that happened to me with the original Halloween. Um, I was real young, had gone out trick-or-treating and came back, and it was by the time that had already been like in syndication or whatever it is. Hey, like, you're watching that on Halloween? I won't even do that now. <laughs> Dude, you're nuts. I didn't do it on purpose. Uh-huh. So you know that on Halloween they play, yeah. old, they play Halloween? It was like TBS or something like that. And I come in. I think my brother was upstairs putting his candy away or whatever he was doing. I was downstairs in the living room. My mom and dad were, you know, whatever, just milling around. And I was down alone in the in the thing by myself. Uh-huh. And that opening opening thing came on with the song. And I just got hypnotized and just stared at it and saw the kid murder the first couple people, like, before the credits. Sure. Dude, the level of fear yeah, that gripped nuts. me. Even like I don't like, think I slept for like two nights. I just laid there hearing that song. I couldn't go near a butter knife for like two weeks. I was petrified. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nuts. To watch that, I wouldn't do that now. I don't give me the heebie jeebies. My cousin Michelle, it was Chucky for her. She was at the perfect age when Chucky came out. We didn't really, I mean, I was young. I remember being really young. And we tortured her with it because we were all like five, six years older. Yeah. It, all you had to do was say Chucky's coming, and she All would... you had to do was terrorize her, and she got scared. <laughs> she would lose all you had to, it. All you had to tell her was the monsters are real, and she would get nervous. <laughs> I remember putting a Jason mask on and scaring the shit out of my little brother, like, I shouldn't have been. Me and my dad would get our rocks off. Was, oh, dude, there ain't nothing funnier than scaring oh, kids. Oh, man. I'd have, I remember having a Jason. The setup was about 35 minutes. I put the Jason mask on. I st- stood in the closet, and then my dad waited. And I was like, hey, Mike, can you grab me whatever out of the closet? And there I am. I started crying. He was like four. Dude, that's all we did when I was a kid. My dad would scare the shit out of me and my brother, yeah. and we would all be dying uh-huh. as long as you weren't the one getting got. Yeah. <sighs> no, for stuff. sure, for sure. Uh, let's do a couple more, and then we got a ripper up here. There you go. Uh, speaking, of, we touched on this a little bit at the beginning. Uh, this is from Shire Fucker One Two Niner. Shout out. Is it garbage to use a neck pillow in the car? Does it make a difference if you're driving? A neck pillow in the car is bad news. Wild. That's no good. That's, so that's up there with headphones in the car, and I've seen it. Oh, uh, I've done it. Really? Yeah. Why? Um, I would do it when I had the Montego because it didn't have an MP. Th- like I couldn't play any. Th- I was just at a CD player, uh-huh. and my CD collection ain't up to you know ain't ain't what it used to be. Ain't up to code. And uh, my girl would be like maybe sleeping or doing whatever if we were like driving to the shore from the shore whatever, and I would just put uh. I had no way of playing music. I, I would just I, all I could do was listen to the radio. So I'd put a one AirPod in and listen to a podcast or whatever. Huh? Yeah. One okay. Two. Two's bad. You're looking for that's you're looking for trouble. I think. Can you see the 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 law on that? I think because it'll like the it's a, like the, what the law law is. Say that one more time. I, it's one of those words I can't say. Law. Law. What do you say? It's law. 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 Yeah, I'll throw an L on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. Small town sheriff. <laughs> the law's coming to get you. Uh, it's legal in most states. <laughs> what? Jesus God Christ. damn. I got to run for office what or are something. We doing? This is wild. You got to suspect it's because of people being able to talk on their phones hands free. I'll give you that. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. That makes sense. Uh, on that note, one other thing you see in Florida, just to bring it back full circle, a lot of motorcycle riders, no, no helmet. helmet. Yeah, Sans helmet is something you don't see that much. We said it's a PA thing. You have the choice to wear a helmet or not if you want to. But most people do. Most people do. Just fucking, I mean, you know, just pure noggin out there. That's a lot. Dude, that guy was ripping. Yeah, he was just cooking in and out. Mm-hmm. 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 Real hot, too. The T-shirt was flapping up in the T-shirt back. T-shirt was flapping, pair of jean shorts. <sighs> uh-huh, yeah. cooking. Uh, I will do this one, then we got a roll here. This one's from Thomas. I'd love to know if Foley's Christmas tree is still up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I need, I need to have boots on the ground to confirm more than that. No, nah, we got it done pretty quick. Got it out pretty quick. We didn't go anywhere, did we? Uh, you asking me? I'm just saying in general. No, no, no. We, we went, uh, yeah, we put it up late and. Wait, wait, wait. Did it get taken down when you moved? Was that the catalyst? Was the catalyst the move? No, we were in the new. They were pl- in the new spot. We were in the new spot. Ah, 
Um, no, I think it was normal time. Okay. I think it was appropriate. Okay. Fair enough. After New, uh, the week after New Year. Did you put it in a bag or did you litter your apartment hallway with needles from the tree? No. The bird's big on that. Um, if it was up to me, that's part of the job. It'd still be up. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I, they have a. They started putting. Uh, they did it this year. I there's a notice in my building from me last year, of if you need a bag, please ask one of somebody, the somebody. Somebody did that too. When I we, did it. It was. It looked like a goddamn murder scene. Yeah, yeah no, um, somebody did it in our building, and it literally, it's all. First of all, you don't have to take it all the way out. They, they, they you know, they come and get it or whatever. So we ordered a bag, wrapped it up, put it on the front door, and 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 they got rid of it. But somebody just fucking, yeah, it's yeah. a trail of fucking death. I did that. Yeah, it ain't great. It ain't great. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't do a tree this year. We were, on a, we were on a move. You didn't do a tree? No. Look at you. We I were down, we were down in... I uh, think I knew that. Well, I, think we were, I think we were very busy the week leading up to the holiday. Of course. And then uh, we were going right down. By the time we were like going to buy one or get one, a small one, it was like we're going down to my the fam for... The, you know, yeah, I couldn't three get away days. with that. I couldn't get away with that. The one. last Christmas tree I had in my in the apartment I lived in Connecticut, I smoked. I I vacuumed the hallway, but only in front of my door, so it didn't look like it started at my place. You didn't put one up at your place this year? Fuck no. Really? For me and the cat? Yeah. No. Huh? That is pretty sad. <laughs> I was chilling, dude. At a Hanukkah bush. It just makes you feel more lonely around the holidays. Uh, we got to wrap her up here. But we love you, pal. Sure. <laughs> okay. You come by my house anytime. Look at the tree. All right. Huh? It's still up. Man. <laughs> you still got a couple weeks to like, take it down. Gang, we <laughs> get, love get, you. Come get your picture taken. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.